my god. Where does this take me? Org? Nice. That's where I want to go. And then the other Dalaran. Wait, what? What is taunt now? Uh, it's called Hand of Reckoning. For oh, well, and I'm a druid. Oh. Uh, I'm looking. Fearsome. Nope. Growl. Oh, it's called Growl. Yeah, it's on your bar. Right, I can see it. Oh, it's number four on your bar. There it is. Where is it in the book? Oh, wait, oh, it's a base druid ability now. I see. Oh, so I didn't. I didn't even need to go feral. Okay. Yeah, all the taunts are base abilities now, again. Like, Rhett Paladins have taunt, which is weird. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to do one more at, just in case people want to see Spore Horsemen specifically, because it's, again, probably the hardest fight in the game. Uh... There. Cool. All right. <laughs> oh no, I can't. I Discord. I have to put www in. I I actually yeah, and then it knows it's a link. No, it's okay. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine. All right. Uh. So we just need to be able to taunt and the the engage on this version is different as well because I believe the mobs run to their corners automatically. Okay. Okay, whatever. I changed my Talents mind on, really the, on the talent. Well, well, this like this constantly heals me, so I don't have to worry about healing during the fight. I don't know. The if bombs we're... are gonna hit for three. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about it anyways. Yeah, I'm just gonna click some stuff. If it says passive, I'll probably click it. Right, whatever. Um... I'm seeing too if there's any like taunt cooldowns or anything. Thank you. Well, I guess we won't have that in classic, so. Okay, let's head to the uh, the four horsemen. Hotkeys here, so that's fine.
I don't need any of these other abilities. I just need taunt. I don't want to press anything else. All right. Once we all, yeah, so that they they did change this fight a lot. I think even one of the like isn't one of the four horsemen like a different person? They're all different people because the four horsemen are dead. Oh, really? Oh, so they're, they're all different all people. Four different. Interesting. Okay. Wait, how come? How come the four horsemen are dead, but no one, none of the other bosses in Nax are dead? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I it's Blizzard. They they do whatever they want, I guess. All right. So, um, yeah, like I I don't think there's any trash for for Saffron. There is. Oh, for Saf and KT, no. Yeah, there is trash. So, for like, them, but, like they're like we can actually do this probably pretty quickly. I know KT pretty well too, because I had to or I did I wrote the the uh, Discord part for it. Um, I don't know. How do you guys feel? Just want I, I we should just knock it all out, huh? So it's done. Saf will be quick. Saf will be quick, and and KT like, KT is a fight that's just gonna take like experience, right? Like like figuring out the mind controls and stuff. So I yeah, I think I think it'll be quick, and then I can chop them up, and um, then we won't have to worry about it tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll just have Nax and whatever else unlocks. We'll be completely prepared. Thanks for logging in, Rebel. Appreciate it. All right. So, what do we got here? Some more Cavalier mobs. Um, so, we're entering part of the outside ring. So, we have to go just on part of it to get into the room of the Four Horsemen. All of these mobs we've seen before. None of these are new. Yep. So, we just we do what we need to. Death Knights, Whirlwinders, whatever. There might be there might be more of those shadow guys They're stealth around, around here. Don't work too high level. I, like like I think it is really any time we're in this outer ring of Nax. Yeah, like it, we found one the other day, but it, we got really lucky. All right. Oh, some of them are the same. You guys haven't started heavy. We're doing. We're about to do four horsemen right yeah, now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're about at, to we're cover four horsemen. Door. So, so do, do you have my stream up? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I just yeah. got back. Okay, cool. Right on. Yeah, we're about to start covering the four horsemen. Um, so this is their room. We're gonna use the whole room. Uh, let let's first take a kind of look of what the room looks like if you look at the map you see how there's like little little inserts here and here and here and here um we have to be a little bit aware of these as we split out for los and also for distance reasons all right um so up on there are the four horsemen uh one of them's a woman horse woman sir okay, all right we have sir Z oh, you guys gotta help me. Zelik, 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 Baron Rivendare, Thane, Korthaz. Is... So Rivendare is actually Morgrain. Okay. That's in classic. He'll be Morgrain. Okay. Is is that the is that the one that changed? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Because cool. Morgrain is in the world for this. Oh. Okay. So so it's so and Lady Blamu. So we're probably gonna refer to them as. A lady sounds bad, doesn't it? But it's kind of... <laughs> what do we call her for short? Uh, lady. Blay. Yeah, Blay. Okay, we got Blay. Uh, Thane. Baron. And Zelik. They're not Baron. Uh, Morgrain. Morgrain, right. Okay. Okay. Um. Alright, so... 
we have to learn about pretty much everything that they do and then how they handle it. Uh, there are old strategies that use eight tanks for and do this giant rotation. Um, I think we can get away with six uh, as we will get into more. Um, oh, I don't even have it up. Horsemen. Uh. Of the apocalypse? Mm hmm. Yeah, am I going to see something embarrassing in my search history? Ah, it's okay. I have nothing to hide. All right. Uh, this says that all four combined only have 1.6 million health, but DPS time is really low on them, right? Yeah, you only are in for a minute at a time. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay. Yeah. Generally, and they shield wall. Generally considered one of the most difficult encounters before Burning Crusade. Yeah. We need coordination and timing. All right. So we have a lot to learn here. Um, but it's important that we know what's going on uh, so that we know where we need to move during the fight. Okay. Let's start. All right. So first... These are things that all four horsemen have. Okay, we can't disarm them, so we just have to deal deal with it. No, they can um, be disarmed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I need to drink some more water. I should have eat. I should have eaten. All right, so uh, they have an enrage where when they get to 100 marks, which we'll talk about marks in a second, uh, but when they get to 100 of them, they enrage and then just start spamming their abilities. Um, uh to get to 100, that takes 20 minutes. Okay, so we're fine. When each horseman dies, their spirit is summoned out. Uh, and it stays at the place that they died. And it will continue to give out their mark, which we'll go over marks in a second. And this, this says, don't go near them because they'll one-shot you. Yeah, they're probably rooted in place. And if you go near them, they'll punch you and kill you. Um, okay. Uh, targetable we'll talk about the safe zone okay uh yeah and and at 50 percent, like I, I we're saying is 50 percent and 20 percent, they shield wall for 20 seconds okay now let's talk about the marks all right so each horseman has its own mark you can think of it in, in here it says you could think of it like the the fire mod debuff so we have the the first mark is it 20 seconds the uh the and then it reapplies every 12 seconds okay this says it's possible that every 12 seconds when marks hit all play actually one second i know seymour wrote a ton and i think we can just go through his um let me see Yeah, we have a separate channel for four horsemen because there's a lot going on. Okay. Um, oh yeah, he did the marks. The marks further down. Okay. Well, let's just talk. Oh, oh, this is from Wow. We okay. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so he has the mark. Uh, the marks. It says it's possible that every twelve seconds. When marks hit, all players' aggros on horsemen are reduced by half, which means you need to go easy on DPS when a tank transition happens. All right. If such a check wasn't in place, by the end of the fight, the tanks would have such a huge amount of aggro, it would be impossible to lose aggro. Oh, so it's actually, like, important that that's, that's, that's in there. Interesting. Okay. Um, so the mark does damage, um, and it uh, and stacks... Uh, this is, oh, this is each mark. So one mark is 250, then 1,000, then three. So it ramps up real quick. Um, seven marks maximum if you get another when you die. And, uh, so let's talk again about the marks, the about how they're like the fire mod debuff. Remember when you get the fire mod debuff, you take damage and you get another application. That sounds like that. that's what these marks are too, right? So we'll, we'll take, we take this amount of damage and then we get another application um once we have seven 
or or probably less, honestly. You're now, gonna move well before six, seven. Seven will one shot. Five. You. Yeah, right? Like, yeah, I I wouldn't stay in for seven, I don't think. No, um, we're gonna rotate at three. Yeah, so these marks take 75 seconds to drop, and each horseman has a different one. All right, so as we learn this, we can start to formulate what's going on here and how we're going to do this. All right, these marks have a huge range as well. Um, yeah, big old range. Uh, okay, a applies regardless of line of sight. Okay, we can't do any, like, any trickiness like we did on Resuvius. The damage is classified as uh, as physical, so it's unresistible, but the actual da damage it deals is shadow. Oh, so so shadow protection can technically absorb it. Probably shadow shield too. Um, okay, that's fine. Okay, nothing can remove the marks. Not ice block, not paladin BS, not flask of petrification. Okay, so uh yeah marks sound crazy right that's not all we still gotta uh each one of these the each one of the horsemen have their own unique ability that we have to learn as well all right so first let's talk about mograin this is the guy that that is not in this version that this is the guy that's only gonna be in classic he has the but most that being said i'm pretty sure um Baron Rivendare has his abilities. Oh, great. It's just okay. A different name. I'm okay. pretty sure. So he does, yeah. So he does, um, yeah, Righteous Fire. It's, uh, it's a big nuke and then an additional bunch of damage over eight seconds. Um, identical to Ragnaros's Elemental Fire. Interesting. Uh, you can fire resist out of it. Um, applied as a 25% chance to, to melee hit. On proc, what what does that mean exactly? Is it re did Seymour word it differently? Um, so tw it's apply at twenty five percent of the time he melees, it's gonna apply righteous fire. That's gonna hit really that often? Jeez, yes. I just I that's, that's I guess I thought that, but fire is this. I guess I thought that, but didn't really believe it. Yeah, so we're gonna definitely need. Yeah, so the, the the tanks in the front half of the room, which is Morgane and Corza or Coraz, wear fire resist. And the reason for that is because righteous fire, and then the next Thane has Meteor, which is also fire right. damage. Okay, so uh yeah, so the meteor is uh, right, that's also fire damage. Um it is like a, a normal meteor mechanic. That is like the, the meteors in AQ on the trash where we all stack to spread the amount of damage that it does. Exact same thing in, in this meteor here, it says. Um, every 12 seconds, the meteor will go off. Um, it's shared between people in eight yards. So yeah, you want to clump up. Um, who it targets, though, is uh, a random target in... Uh... Sorry, the... This thing won't shut up. There we go. A random target um, within 20 yards. So uh, basically everyone that's on Thane it should stack up, right? Like there's no real reason not to stack up. I believe so. Yeah. I think yeah we... Including on the tank because the tank can also get meteored. But that's why he's wearing fire resist. So oh, during yeah. a transition, he won't necessarily get one shot by it. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, next we have Zelik. Um, he does so. These these guys are going to be in the back, right? And these are Zelik is the one that if a melee goes in, you are going to wipe the raid. Yeah. So Period. so this is um this is like that thing. Uh, remember when we went in ZG and a couple of times on Snake Boss, just half of the raid just died instantly. It's it's because of this. Um, this is that this or is the Cthulhu. It's Cthulhu's yeah, I beam. yeah. It's basically just an I beam, but it's holy damage, and uh, yeah. Um, so we basically, yeah, like Agbar said, I, yeah. I guess we have. Oh yeah, every chain doubles the damage, so we just have range spread out essentially, right? I uh, okay, all right. And Lady Blamu uh has the the void zone Blamo. I think it's Blamo. Blamo? 
All right, it has a void zone. Um, it's a void zone. It deals damage uh, to the enemies. Okay, so if you stand in it, you'll die in two seconds. Uh, so but it's small. Um, in, in theory, it's going to be really relatively easy to oh, avoid void zones. Oh, void zone's however, easy, yeah. However, in vanilla, there was a bug that made it so void zones were invisible. Okay, dude. If we have that bug again, <laughs> the way around it is you basically move every time you finish a cast. So you cast, you take a step, five yards. You cast, you take a step, five yards. That way, if a, if a void zone lands on you and it's invisible, you're still going to move after you finish your cast. Okay. Okay. Good to know. All right. Um... So here's a map it, it says to like where where people go. Um so I was showing you before yeah these each little like little indents in the room. That's where we're going to put each horseman. We do that because the range on their marks is like 75 yards or something crazy. Um so to make sure we don't get double marks, we have to make sure they're really spread out throughout this room. Okay. Now we can talk strategy. Um, bring this up. Hold on. Go to bring up Seymour's strategy. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing now. Okay. Uh, he just starts with. Oh, he does it by roll. That's fine. All right, we'll start. We'll start with the tanks. Um, so Seymour has eight tanks. Well, we'll see. I. I I think we want eight tanks. Yeah, I, I, if we to learn it for sure. If we have eight tanks, we can do it. But if not, we, we, we can get away with less. Um, uh, eight tanks allows for if there is a taunt resist, you're not instantly dead. Yeah. With with six tanks, if there's a taunt resist, you wipe. Right. Yeah. So, um, so tanks will rotate between tanking a boss. Um, and they they will transition or swap whatever after three or four marks, which is um, which is forty eight seconds about um, or actually about a minute from the start of the fight, and then every forty eight seconds thereafter, <clears throat> and then uh, and then when they're not doing that, they're standing in a safe zone to get their mark debuffs dropped, and then swapping back to the tanking. That means the tanks will stay in their their corner the whole time, correct? And they just do their and then they just yes, they, they, they swap tanks, yes. they swap between well, each other. No, you're gonna have to swap between the two mobs because your thing won't wear off. Oh, so you you're, oh your, right. You your, run your to the mob. middle, and then when it's your turn, you run to the opposite mob, and then you go back. And when your debuff falls from the first mob, you go back to the first mob. Oh. So you are you are tanking two mobs. Oh. Four tanks are tanking two Woo. mobs. Right. Four tanks per two mobs. Probably the two north and the two south because of the fire Correct. the damage. Okay. All right. So, um Okay. This does include that all four of them can be disarmed, which is important. Um one of them specifically like beats ass. Um So, let's uh yes. the, which guy? Uh, it's Thane, I believe. Oh wait, no, it's maybe Morgan. it's Morgan. But it's, okay. it's the fire damage. His actual oh, melee right. is basically nothing. Right, that the fire but damage he can't that it causes. apply okay. the fire damage if he's disarmed. Uh, okay, got it. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. So two, four tanks. If we can, uh, I mean, we could do three tanks for two mobs. Again, if we have to do the six tank strap, but let's just say we'll have eight when we get here. Um, and the yeah, the the two on the south side are gonna want to have some fire resist. All right. Um, yeah, the bosses need to be tanked far into the respective corners. Yeah, yeah, the distance matters here, kind of like twin M's. How like like even if they move a little bit, they'll start healing. Um, it's it's a pretty far range here. 
Uh, it also says, make sure you have a clean tank transition before running out to the safe zone. Right, so if you still have aggro and you pull your boss out of position, that, that will start stacking marks or other people, or refresh the marks that they're trying to drop and can wipe the raid. So that, that, that can be very, very tricky. Um, before we go on, I want to, or actually, never mind, never mind. Let's just keep going with these. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, now is the time for your ZG reel, right. So when when the when you're the tank about to take it, right, and the other tank is at four marks, you hit that fishing reel, you try to get that you, you do everything you can to have a successful uh a successful taunt and, and or use other abilities as well, whatever you need. Um that, that being said, if you do use um mocking blow you need to make sure you then also taunt because mocking blow does not put you at the top of the threat meter. Either. Right. It just sticks it to you for a few seconds. temporary stick. Right. Okay. All right. Gotcha. So, um, DPS time. How do we kill these guys? All right. So we're going to break them up into four groups of around six people each. Um, on the pole, one group goes to, to Thane. Two go to Morgrain. Uh, and, oh, this says, oh, group one. Oh, he's group he one specified goes to Thane, groups. Group two goes to Highlord. Nice. Three and fourth day in the middle. Yeah, the, not number of groups. These are the, the numbered groups. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pull this on screen. There, that's easy. People can see it. Okay. So, um, the, uh, I'm not leaking anything, right? No, I think it's fine. Okay. All right, uh, the... So yeah, group one goes a thing, group two goes a high lord, group three and four will go to the safe zone. What is the safe zone, you may ask? Take a look at the map. See this mark where it says safe spot? It's it's just in front of the ramp that they're standing on. Right there. Alright. So uh they'll start by standing in that in that safe zone all right so uh after after three marks happen which at the beginning of the fight is going to be 20 seconds plus 24 seconds so so that uh or well three marks so 20 plus 12 so after uh after three marks happen dps rotate off the boss to the safe zone until their marks fall off um af wait after so you don't act the first two we don't need to actually go back to the safe zone right away you can go to the other boss yeah i i, I was saying why, uh, why would we go to the safe zone i, I thought you're, the dps were supposed to go to other bosses right but but you want to you don't want everybody to be in at the same time is the pro is oh so just what just because there's the marks like, tick if, up yeah right, right. you want to make sure there's consistently people there and if you everybody goes in at once there's going to be a time when there's nobody at the meteor boss right so what you would do is you would after the third tick you wait for a meteor to land and then you rotate to the other boss the people who are at the other boss go to the safe zone group three goes to the meteor boss right okay so so groups three and four yeah we'll need to understand how that works and how to rotate they need to just wait until yeah group four especially is gonna have a while where they're just standing there and waiting uh -huh. but the reason for that is because of the marks later right yeah right okay um yeah this melee stay far away from zelic that's that's the 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 eye eye beam guy um while we fight thane it's important to say sacrament yeah we went over that part and then hunters will help pull the bosses into the correct corner except for zelic uh okay zelic can just be like walked into his corner or zelic is basically gonna be body pulled yeah yeah right Okay. So Zelic is the mob that, like, whoever pulls is going to start the pull over in their corner, in Zelic's corner. What have you done? But <laughs> Zelic's going to start, Zelic's tank is going to start in his corner and body pull with his healers. And then the hunters are going to pull off of him. Okay, makes sense. Um, all right. Uh, and the... So how about how about groups one one and two, um, they 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 
do they swap as well? They're they're doing Thane and so the, the we basically the goal is we kill the first the front two bosses. No DPS happens on the back two bosses for a very long time into the fight. Nobody touches those mobs until the front two are dead. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. This is all coming together, guys. All right. So, yeah, melee. Make sure you stay far away from Zelik. Zelik is going to be in the, the back right. For DPS, the last two are sort of personal responsibility. Like, yeah. Rotate when you don't have the because there aren't any mechanics. Yeah. It's it's the void zone and. Well, it's pretty so you, much just the void you zone. You spread out. Yeah. Don't go in near anybody. Right. Basically. No, nobody should be getting hit by by Zelik stuff, anyways. And you should be yeah, avoiding. Yeah. We want range yeah. to start on Zelik. Yep. Basically. Yeah. Not all of or, them. Or we melee, I meant by the hit. Yeah. And we'll, then we'll rotate out. Okay. So, what do healers do on this fight? They do something different as well. One healer will rotate. After every mark, oh, wait, sorry, start the first thing. Healers will be split three healers per boss, so three healers in each corner, with with assuming we have twelve healers. One healer rotates after every mark, going clockwise. Okay, no healer should ever have more than three marks. Is uh okay, all right. Healers should plan on rotating every three marks broken into teams okay let's use an example all right so purple team is k louie and i would rotate on marks one four seven and ten all right yellow team is shenanigans and he would do two five eight eleven and green team pof would do three six nine and twelve okay so like there there's basically a rotation happening every mark just offset by three um so so in that example, let's say uh, K. Louis, Shamanigans, Pof are all in the same. They start in the yes, same corner. Yes, these guys are all in so the same corner. Start, right. They would start where I am, essentially. Say on the first mark, K. Louis would rotate clockwise and go to the next boss. On the second mark, Shamanigans would rotate clockwise and go to the second boss. On the third mark, Pof would rotate and go to the other. Uh, boss on the fourth mark k louis will move from this corner to his next corner so there's always three people three healers in every group in every corner but it's different three healers constantly because one person is moving every mark transition right so so and so yeah now that sounds tricky but the reason why we do that is that we always need to have healing coverage on a tank so by moving one at a time we'll we'll still have healing coverage and that'll give uh, each healer an individual time to move to their next spot. I hope that made sense. <laughs> it, the other, the other important thing is the healers and the tanks continue their rotations even after their bosses are dead, because the ghosts are still there. You don't oh yeah, stop still rotating. Yep. Even if. Because if nobody's in melee range with the ghost or in, near the ghosts, they do different abilities that basically wipe you. So you uh, have to continue to rotate okay. even after your boss is dead. Right. So so this is going to be just really heavy on on the assignments. Um, um, I mean, it's really not. I, like, I, oh no, we're we're, we're just going to have player stays the same all the time. It yeah, change it. Yeah, we're we're just going to have yeah player player one, two, and three per corner. Player one is going to go on stack one player two stack two player two stack three and then after that count count plus three yeah okay so yeah every every healer is gonna have to be like pretty precise with that too because of we want to keep healing coverage on on every boss wait and so so he so we so even after these front two are dead we still have the healers the whole fight have to move into Correct. the ghost range okay Correct. you basically mm. like there's no tank to heal but you have to still be rotating because you have to keep your marks the same and you have to keep somebody in the area so that somebody's getting the mark. Okay. Okay, got it. You, you can't just ignore the ghosts. Right. Right, okay. And so so the so the healers 
continuing to rotate takes stop care of that. Rotating into those bosses, the healers and the tanks stay. Oh, the tanks stay as well, right? Yes. But that do the, the tanks don't even don't need they to stand in melee. Don't actually tank, right? No, they just yeah. go over there and just stand there. They're just there. Pretend they're doing things. Okay. But Oof. they're also wearing fire resist, and the bosses in the back you don't want fire resist for, so you can't continue to tank. That's the thing. Right. Okay. My wow icon is flashing. I think that means I have That's aggro. That's because fun. is <laughs> what messing around. What is going on out here? <laughs> taunt. Taunt. All right. Um. So, I don't know how, like effectively we can show this except for really like just pulling them to the corners and just showing what that kind of looks like they act... do it automatically um in this oh version. oh they do they just go to their corners they go to their corners that's fun if all I right remember right um yeah so i'll go to this back corner okay i'll take uh i'll take back left um uh if anyone's curious they're still they're still trash in the flag wing oh Great to know. Um, Fidar, you want to take front right and uh, uh, Revla take front left. If Revla is actually still here. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay if not. Like, it, I mean, this the fight is different on this and um, like what you actually do is kind of complicated, right? Like per role. So like tanks are stay, right? And they, well, well, they kind of they kind of switch between the two mobs, right? And then you have DPS with their kind of complex rotation, and then healers are going around in a circle the whole time. So everyone has has their own role, and uh, everyone has to be precise, right? If you, yeah, like like if if a, basically if a if a tank dies and a horse runs to back to the middle of the room, or even just a little bit, like then everyone else in every other corner is going to start taking marks from that. And then it's just a bunch of extra damage, and then it's it, it, it becomes difficult to recover from. Um, and also, it's going to mess up DPS who are standing in the safe zone trying to drop their marks. They're going to get reapplied. Um, or, or possibly reapplied. It, it, it might just be extra damage. So yeah, it's it's really getting a feel for the amount of, amount of damage each horseman does for the healers to make sure that tanks are always kept up. Make sure there's always at least two healers on on each uh, on each one um, on each corner. Uh, to show this, I mean, I can just pull and see where they. Yeah. Can, that's what happens? Yeah. Let's just let's just go. Yeah. Go up and aggro, and we'll see what happens. That's fine. I mean, I can taunt him from here. That's why I was moving up. Okay. Yeah, they run so, to yeah, their corners. They do go to their corners. Okay, so we're getting shadow bolted here. Zelik is doing his holy bolt in that corner. That's the one that melee don't want to be in. That's going to be the, I guess, the back right corner if we're using the entrance as a reference. Notice how the door closes. These are the void zones. There's the marks. I just got see. my first mark. Oh, you got a mark? Okay. I have not gotten a mark. Do only two of them do marks in this one? No, they all do. They're oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah, there it is. I got a mark in blue moo. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... There are the marks. Um, the first one's at 20 seconds, and then every 12 seconds after. So these front two corners are what people are going to be be focusing on, right? These mobs need to die first. Uh-oh. Hyrex got a shield. It's re reflecting. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. Uh, there's a meteor you can see in that corner. That's going to be the corner that deals with the meteor. And, uh, and yeah, and so... Making sure you're in you're in the safe zone. Making sure these mobs are back far enough. Like I might not even be in the right spot. Like maybe I could put her. We, oh, these I could just, these oh, she's a caster. Like... I can't do anything. Yeah. These, they they kind of just go to their spot and. Well, they won't in re in classic. Yeah, yeah. Wait, where are these? They, they actually melee. What are the front these two mobs... doing? Where are they going? These these mobs are different. Because this mob that I'm tanking doesn't just sit here and holy bolt the whole time. Right. They he actually melees. But in this version that doesn't whoa, happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. On my stream, did my volume just go way up? What just happened? Sorry.
Oh no! It looks like you got some spam on your stream. You oh, you've get you've become important enough that you're getting bots. Oh wow! What a Me day! Too. All right, as long as my stream is okay, still. All right, maybe I just accidentally turned up my volume or something weird. Okay. Okay, Lou, come taunt off me. We're rotating. All right, rotate. Go, 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 go. Taunt. Yep, so, um... There's not a lot we can show because of... Yeah, I, I I mean, I have one of each mark right now. That's fun. Um, So, yeah, keep the amount of marks low. I... Well, here, I'll, I'll kill one and you can see the ghost. Are there ghosts in this version? They should be. Okay. But they, they may spawn in the corner they're supposed to be in. Apparently not. So this is the ability that happens if nobody's in the range of it. So you see how Lady Blamo is chain casting uh, unyielding pain? Yeah. That's because there's nobody taking her mark. That's why the healers conti have to continue to rotate. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Some more meteor. Okay. Um, Wait, are the ghosts here too or no? No, they're not. Okay, so they're, they're just not in this version? All right. Okay. So... Each of these guys have their have their own um, hit point pool, and like a couple of them they had don't like have a lot. yeah, like a couple of them had like five hundred k, and then one had like two hundred something k. Like they're yeah, they really don't have much. Um, but our our DPS uptime is gonna be low, and we should I think at first err on the side of it being low, right? What I mean by that is is. Uh, you know, as a DPS, you have an option of whether you want to move at low marks or high marks, right? You start with lower marks at first. Keep keep the healing needs a little bit lower in exchange for lower DPS because the time limit on this fight is technically 20 minutes. Um, and then as we get a better feel for rotation, for uh, for like the feel of healing and all that, then uh, then we can start speeding it up. Ooh, and they have a chest. That's uh, what the loot is, is the chest. Ooh. Nice. Okay. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'm at Saturday. Um. Yeah, that's that's it for Four Horsemen. Let's do another. That was a big one. Um, Let's do, yeah, like four more minutes. Uh, and then we'll do S Saffron, which is no trash. And then KT. We're almost there, you guys. So 